Have you ever had a sudden burst of inspiration or insight just as you're drifting off to sleep? Well, it turns out there's a reason for this. According to neuroscience, that twilight phase between wakefulness and sleep called the N1 stage or the hypnagogic state can actually spark creative thinking and insight. Some of history's most creative minds, including Salvador Dali and Thomas Edison, were known to use this technique to boost their creativity. Whenever they needed a creative spark, they would try to fall asleep while holding a small object in their hand. As they entered the hypnagogic state, or the N1 stage of sleep, they would often be inspired with new ideas. When they would start falling into deeper sleep, they would drop the object and thus wake themselves up allowing them to remember any creative ideas that came to them. A study conducted in 2021 supported this idea that the hypnagogic state or N1 sleep promotes creative thought. In the study, participants were presented with math problems that had a hidden rule that allowed them to solve the problems almost instantaneously. Then they were given a 20 minute break in which they were encouraged to rest while sitting in a reclining chair in a dark room with their eyes closed. They were asked to hold a small bottle in their hand so that if they dropped it, the noise would wake them up. The participants also were connected to an EEG to track the depth of their sleep. The study found that those who spent at least 15 seconds in N1 sleep were three times more likely to discover the hidden rule compared to those who remained awake. However, this effect vanished if the participants were allowed to enter deeper stages of sleep, as they would forget any insights they would have experienced. So how exactly does N1 sleep spark creative insight? Well, it appears to activate brain networks involved in creative cognition, specifically the default mode network, which is involved in generating spontaneous thoughts. In addition, during N1 sleep, we often have dreamlike experiences that creatively combine recent wake experiences with loosely associated memories. This process allows us to connect distant and unrelated concepts in the brain, leading to the generation of novel solutions and ideas. These experiences can be thought of as an amplified version of the mind wandering we experience during wakefulness, and this sort of brain activity can facilitate the generation of new ideas. To use this technique effectively, it's important to remain in a light enough sleep that allows for the recall of insight upon waking. By remaining in that N1 sleep, we allow our minds to wander freely while still being conscious enough to remember our insights. So if you're struggling to come up with a creative solution or just need a little boost of inspiration, try taking a short nap. And if you really want to go the extra mile, try falling asleep with a small object in your hand, just like some of history's most creative geniuses did. It might seem strange, but it could be the key to unlocking your next big idea. This is NeuroGalMD. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you next time. Bye.